CIA Director and former House Republican Mike Pompeo returned to Congress to pitch himself as the next Secretary of State, but Senate Democrats mostly wanted to talk about President Donald Trump. We must ask, will you enable President Trump's worst instincts? Will you stand up to President Trump and say, no, you're wrong in that view, Mr. President, or will you be a yes man? On issues from Russia to Iran to Syria, Democrats tried to see how much daylight there is between Pompeo's views and the president's. Pompeo largely didn't take the bait. What is your view as to whether America should withdraw unilaterally from the Iran nuclear agreement? Senator, I, I know clearly what my mission's gonna be. Uh, the president's made very clear what the Secretary of State's mission has been, and I expect no change to that. No, I didn't ask. I, I asked what's your views. Yes, I, 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 I understand that. And yeah. we, we've had nominees come before this committee and express their views yes. and are doing very well in this administration and have disagreed with the president. Yes, and the I've president done. gets the last word. I understand that. <laughs> I've done I want to know times, your then. views. I've, I've done it many times, Senator. I, I can't answer that question. Pompeo also faced pressure in the opposite direction from Republican Senator Rand Paul, who urged him to stick close to the president's anti-interventionist instincts. My main concern is that will you be one who will listen to what the president actually wants instead of being someone who advocates for us staying forever in Afghanistan, another Iraq war? bombing Syria without permission. Unlike his predecessor Rex Tillerson, Pompeo's developed a reputation for having the president's ear, thanks to strong personal chemistry. Lawmakers were naturally keen to know how he'd use that relationship as Secretary of State. Paul's opposition could leave Pompeo relying on Democrats to get past the full Senate vote. He's managed to get bipartisan support in the Senate for his nomination to the CIA, but Democrats have struck a more skeptical tone this time around. Still, given the current amount of turmoil in the world, the Senate probably won't want to leave the Secretary of State post vacant too much longer.